Karen is no longer a significant tropical storm threat to the state of Florida, but there will still be some other hazards that we'll have to watch closely, especially as a front, a powerful front, uh, meets up with the remnant circulation and energy uh, from the former tropical storm. Latest developments, it's barely a storm. It's really lost most of its tropical uh, characteristics, and as the front approaches, it'll do so even more. But it is loaded with moisture, and it's still making that turn to the north and east, so there will still be some heavy rain in the panhandle, especially Sunday night, early Monday, and it teams up with a front uh, producing possibly a squall line of thunderstorms that will roll from the panhandle across much of North Florida. Really most of the peninsula will see this squall line of storms and depending on the timing uh, could be some severe weather with that as well, especially if it hits during the heating of the day. This was the satellite view on Saturday and nothing new here since Friday. All the thunderstorms still on the eastern and southeastern side of the storm, but you could with well, the visible satellite. You could see the circulation was right about there, but all the storminess was right here on the eastern side. Very little of this activity is wrapping around it because there's still some significant westerly wind shear and some dry air as well. But all this moisture will be rotating north and eastward as the center of the storm probably starts to make a turn and head toward the coastline of Louisiana. That's still the official forecast track from the Hurricane Center. Uh, the remnants of this will likely move toward the Panhandle Sunday night into Monday and then up into Georgia as a formidable uh, low pressure system, but no longer a tropical storm. Now let's talk about the wind, even though there's not going to be a whole lot of it. Uh, still tracking it for you, and there'll be some really strong wind gusts here near the coastline, especially I think uh, in Appalachia Bay because of the orientation of the wind. There could be some coastal flooding here. A very shallow water leads to that typically. There's the center of the circulation on future track at 10 o'clock, and then wind tracker showing 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts, possibly as high as 35 in the panhandle. Also note that cities like Gainesville, Jacksonville, and Tallahassee will have some gusty winds on Monday as that front uh, blows through with the remnant of the former tropical storm. Probably the bigger concern is the thunderstorm activity and whether or not we'll see any wind damage because uh, there will be a squall line that forms. First of all, by the way, the sea breezes are going to ignite Sunday afternoon with a few thunderstorms, but here comes the bulk of the activity. Monday afternoon, uh, the front stretching through central Georgia, right near the nature coast, there will be a line or two of some strong thunderstorms and some gusty winds and possibly even some severe weather, maybe an isolated tornado when this comes through. I don't think it's going to be a widespread outbreak, but definitely got to watch that carefully as it moves through. Heaviest rain will be where that remnant circulation moves just to the east of that path. That includes Pensacola, Destin, Panama City, Tallahassee, those areas in the light pink there. Looking at about a one to maybe two and a half inch rainfall amount. Lighter amounts the further east you go because of the faster movement of that front.